Hey all you BIM people, welcome to the channel. If you followed along with my content over the years, you know that I'm a huge fan of Twinmotion. But there's one thing that has absolutely driven me nuts since 2019 using this program, and that is the god-awful bottom bar. The user interface for Twinmotion has always been pretty intuitive as far as the process is concerned. It doesn't use screen real estate efficiently. So for those of you that don't know, uh, Twinmotion released a 2023 preview one and a preview two over the last months or so. And preview one was pretty cool. Um, it mentioned a few interesting updates that um, you'll be super excited about, like Unreal 5.0, not Lumen or Nanit, unfortunately, um, and a couple other introductions to Path Tracer and some file format stuff. Preview two was the heavy hitter. And so what I want to do is just spend a couple minutes showing you the new twin motion user interface and why I'm super, super stoked about it. So what I thought I would do is just quickly jump right in to twin motion 2022 with the beautiful bottom bar. So let's just talk about this user interface real quickly before I compare it directly to the new 2023 user interface that's coming out very soon. Um, what you'll see is, you know, twin motion is twin motion. It's great. You've got uh, your library on the left hand side. You've got your your scene container on the right hand side. And then everything kind of happens down here. Right. This this is this bottom bar is where everything happens. The problem is, if I wanted to work and, and see a larger screen, this is pretty much as big as I can get. You can't minimize the bottom bar. You can't reduce the scale of it. You can't move it. You can't shrink it. You can't do anything with it. And it has a lot of important information. It has your context. It has your imports and so on and so forth. But it's just always driven me nuts that even on this monitor, which is 2K, or even on a 4K monitor, that bottom bar just takes up a ton of screen real estate. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to expand my two libraries just so you can see the difference between these two. So here's Twin Motion 2022. And now here is Twin Motion. 2023. So what you'll notice is that the bottom bar is gone. <laughs> it's gone. Finally, it does still exist. And I will show you in a second that you can pull it up and down, but it's gone. And you'll also notice something that happened. Even my properties bar on the left and the right hand side, my scene explorer and my library, they're actually smaller. So now we have the ability to minimize the library and the scene states just like we did before. So if I minimize properties and scene states. Uh, you can see that even disappears. And now I'm actually working almost in full screen mode, which is pretty awesome. Um, but you'll also notice that the scale of it, the scale of it is a little, a little different. That's because you have the ability to modify the scale factor of the UI as well. But now notice down here, I do have the ability to, to go to imports, uh, materials, um, and then a few other things like media and so on. And if I pull that up, you'll see there's my import bar, but I can actually drop it away. <laughs> so now I have all of this space to work with, which is phenomenal. So if I head over to my preferences up here, what you'll notice is that under appearance, I actually have a few other options. I have an interface scale. So I'm down at 75%. So if I crank that up to 100%, what you'll see is it gets a little bigger, easier to read, but I'm, I'm a huge fan of compact. Um, so I'm going to crank it back down to 75%, which is awesome. And now you'll notice I have I have the the ability to to shrink this down pretty good. The other nice thing about it is on the right hand side here. So if I look over here, uh, this is my scene, right? This is my my scene container. And one of the things if you if you're if you're using if you're using Twin Motion a lot and you're using it for for more complex things, those scene containers can get pretty pretty long. And in the old UI, scrolling through all of that content was a nightmare and you also couldn't expand it the whole length of the dock. And so now what you can do is if I hide my properties down here on the right, um, what you'll notice is that I can actually expand and notice I have this whole area now I'm taking advantage of my two 2k monitor or 4k if I'm on the other monitor, and I have the ability to flip through all of this stuff. Um, so so extremely exciting, really, really cool. Um, what I did want to show you real quickly, I'm not going to do an entire dig deep, deep dive into into all the settings. Uh, when Twin Motion 2023 is out officially, um, I will dive deep into all of the Twin Motion 2023 new features, etc. I did just want to show you what this means. Um, and you guys do have the ability to download it if you're Twin Motion users. Just go onto your Epic um, Epic Game Launcher and uh, and install uh, Preview 2 for 2023. But I did just want to show you what this means for for context and so on and so forth. Before, um, when we wanted to set our light settings and, and so on, um, what we had to do is we had to go down to the bottom and, and go to all of our light settings. Now there's this little thing up here called ambiance. If I click that, what you'll notice is that this is now basically our global light settings. 
um, and, and we can roll them up into different ways. So if I want to adjust my exposure, um, if I want to adjust my, my time of day, um, if I roll out the details of all of those, sun sensitivity, et cetera, these are all, all settings that we had before, but now they're all in this, in this one pane on the right-hand side, even like our HDR environment details, we can roll them up. So now we have the ability to roll them up, um, but see them in one area. There was a, a sort of a weird thing with the UI um, that, had to, that, that people had to get used to where when you went into the details of some of these, it would bring you to a, a different screen in, in the UI for 2022. Now it's actually this, this pull down of details um, for, for 2023, which, is, which I think will be a lot easier when, when people are trying to learn Twinmotion, for example. Um, so you can see I can roll down and see all the details. So there hasn't been any new settings over here, um, but but they're all laid out a little differently. You'll notice on the top here, there's um, environment, camera, render, and FX. So here's all your camera um, settings. You can do your depth of field, et cetera, um, your different, different camera effects, whether that's vignetting, if I want to crank up the vignetting a little bit. Um, and so on and so forth. So all, all the things kind of kind of roll off to the side. Another great piece about it um, is the obvious um, ability to see more library items too, right? So if I go under my materials on the left-hand side here, you'll notice how many more materials you can see at once um, as opposed to 2022, um, where uh, you can't see nearly as many uh, materials as we roll through it. And then similar on the bottom, actually, uh, if we go down here and we go to our materials, um, this this little area here is basically your whole material scene uh, scene materials, um, and this was always a small little box. Now it's fully expanded, um, and it makes it a lot easier to to view the materials that are active in your scene, or the materials that imported that aren't active that you want to clean up and, and delete, and so on and so forth. Um, so it it adds another level of controllability to it. Um, one thing to note for 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 Twin Motion users who are used to the bar, um, there's this context bar here. Um, which used to be down on the bottom in 2022. Now it's up here. And this gives you your settings like material replacement, UV mapping, um, your different gizmos for, for moving around and so on and so forth. So the process really hasn't changed. And there, there are other things that were added to 2023. They added more um, more effects and, and atmospheric effects to Path Tracer, which is awesome for rendering. They added open XR support. So those of you who uh, are really into the mixed mixed media goggles, whether it's AR, VR, or mixed reality goggles, um, using open XR is, is going to be a game changer. And I'll run through all these when 2023 officially releases. But the, the new user interface, I'm so excited about it that I just had to make a quick video. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I hope you go check out the preview too. Um, if you're especially been using Twin Motion in the old user interface, if not, if this is your first time using it, then just go enjoy it <laughs> and, and let me know what you think in the comments. How do you guys feel about this new user interface? Um, and are you as excited as I am to uh, to have a little more a little more room to work when you're in this environment? Let me know. Uh, comment below and definitely subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.